Hello everybody and welcome to my channel. This is the first episode on <clears throat> on game development using Construct 2. So in this course what you will learn is how you can make games using Construct 2. So how do you get it? Just go to or go to your web browser and type in construct.net and click on try it now. That's the, and make sure you have an account. I have a blurred my name. Okay, we're just launching up Construct 2. Now, over here, as you can see, we have a new project button. We click it, we give it a name to the project, we name it the tutorial. And in here, we have landscape type, we make sure we put size and optimize for this one. Now, by the way, Construct 2 and Construct 2 are basically the same. So, let's explain a little bit and let's uh, explain to you what everything does over here this right here is called a layout a layout is where you put your objects all your game objects or your, uh, your graphical user interfaces all your stuff comes here and comes together to a game this is where you do build your level basically okay let's talk about the properties panel now what is a properties panel properties panel is where a if you click on this, it will uh, it will show the properties of this object. If you click on here, you can see the name is now. We can change the name. Let's change the name to game. We'll change real time. Now over here we have this. Now what is the project panel? Project panel will display every single object available to our projects. Like event sheet, we have the game, we have some things. We just write like uh, stuff and we can. Okay, now let's create our first layer. So, right click, insert new object. Let's go to sprite. Let's give it a name. Now, what name should we give? So, let's say player. Maybe this is the same player. Click on it. Over here, this is called a sprite editor. A sprite editor is where you edit your sprite and make them look better. Like, if I click on this, and we can make it do so, this one. But I don't really like it. I just want to use the simple stuff, so bam. And just pull this out, and you got your the player. Now, as you can see, it's too big. It's too big, right? Now, you can change it up by in your properties panel in the size window. So, we're going to write 32 times 32, or you can just use comma, and bam, easy. Let's zoom in. Now, you see these dots? You see these dots right there? Wait a little bit. You see these dots? These dots are called uh, the window screen. So whenever we run, this will be pop up when the, this thing runs. Okay? So we have this. Now let's add a stuff. So if we run our game, as you can see, nothing happens. Now why that thing nothing happens? Because we didn't say to do something. So that's why we add a thing called behavior. So click on the property function, click on the player or some of you want a behavior, click on it and have
differentiated from the new event button. And here you can see that we have a condition panel. If I mention we have system, we have one. So we'll pick up system and tap and tick. Now we are in the present event. Oh, we're going to move the event button. Okay, well, we have in the system panel, as you can see, we have another action panel. Now, what is this? And. System every tick it means every single frame. What do you want to? What do you want to do? What do you want to do every single frame? We want the player uh, to set angle to his position to. Uh, to Position and then the right position. 